Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have an insane new gameplay on Shoot House, probably my last nuke for Modern Warfare. But before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you hit a like as well, but as well, before we do begin the video properly, I can't thank you guys enough for the support on yesterday's video. You guys smashed it out of the park and if you guys are new from that video, we gained a load of subscribers from that video. Thank you for subbing, welcome to the channel, welcome to the farm. I really, really appreciate it. But in today's video, I want to talk about Modern Warfare as a whole. This is probably going to be my last Modern Warfare video for a very long time. I'm going to have the day off tomorrow, take it steady, have a little break from Call of Duty, and we're going hard as ever in Cold War. It's going to be a great year, and I want to discuss my plans and my thoughts for going into the new year as well. But Modern Warfare for me has been an amazing year. Uh, I started off this year very, very slow and steady. You know, I wasn't too into this game uh, as much as I was in Black Ops 4. But it grew on me and grew on me and to the point where this is definitely one of my favourite games games i don't know what it is about it it's just it just it works so well it brings so many new players back to the franchise i've said it time and time again you know this game has saved the call of duty franchise as a whole uh, there's so much things to do in it so much you know new content with the battle pass the store constantly updating Damascus camo was such a big grind it gave you something to do Warzone there was so much and I can't thank you guys enough for being with me through this journey and you know I really want to push the channel to the next level every single year I say this and we always do push it to the next level leveling up the channel every single year it's going to be an insane year I can already tell but in Modern Warfare, uh, we achieved a lot. We grew so many subscribers, especially around the first lockdown time here in the UK from like March to around June. We had an app, that's probably my best time I've ever had on YouTube uh, in terms of stats wise. And in fact, best time overall, I had the most fun making videos I've ever had. The stats was good, you know, it was gaining subs, the views was great. And it's definitely, you know, it slowed down a little bit and it picked back up again just before we head into Cold War, which I'm super happy about. So thank you guys ever so much for that. But in Cold War, uh, I want to, you know, put so much effort and time into this game in terms of unlocking the camos, the mastery camo, the max ranks, pushing content every single day, new gameplays at least once a week. You know, we definitely picked up the pace of the new gameplays in Modern Warfare towards the end of its life cycle. I wish I'd, you know, focused more on it uh, previously, but unfortunately I didn't. But we're going to be smashing a load of new gameplays, a lot of Warzone. I really want to, you know, give you guys what you want to see. So make sure you do let me know in the comments below what you want to see inside of Cold War for the channel. What content you want to see, I will cover it. I really want to start a solid series, you know, work on the series. I started many series in Modern Warfare and never really kept to them. It was sort of like one and done type series, you know, I never really carried them on, which was a shame. I had so many good ideas like the TikTok class setups and... There's a few others that I can't even remember, but I'm primarily going to be focusing the first series in Cold War on going for the Mastery Camo. Every single gold gun I do unlock, I'll do a video on. Uh, apparently, it's 500 kills and 100 headshots to unlock gold camo, uh, which to me sounds insanely easy. Uh, 500 kills is not a lot of kills, really, uh, and 100 headshots in, is going to be easy to get in 500 kills anyway. I mean, I can't see what it's going to be like for the launchers or the knife, uh, but we'll see. I guess, you know, I have no idea what it's going to be like, but seeing how many camos were actually released in that game uh, in yesterday's video, 500 kills and 100 headshots just doesn't seem to add up for me. I don't know if that's just, you know, a fake room, like fake news, but I've seen loads of people talking about it, so it does seem pretty legit, but we'll see come Friday anyway. I'm going to be there at midnight, I'm going to be streaming it, uh, hopefully, uh, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more streaming this year as well, just to pretty much, every time I'm playing the game, give you guys something as well, uh, to make the most of this year and push the channel to the next level. My goals, really, I, ideally, uh, we set the goal of hitting 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year, which is still possible, obviously going into Cold War, uh, but by the end of next year, by the end of the Call of Duty year, should I say, I want to hit 10,000 subscribers Yes, I know we're only on, well, I say only, we're on 1,500 subscribers right now. And we have 9,500 to go in the space of a year, which might seem a bit of a push, uh, especially for me. Uh, but I think we can do it together. You know, share these videos with your friends, you know, encourage people to come to check the channel out. Uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I really try to do, like, make the best content I possibly can every single time. It might not be every time, uh, but I do try really, really hard. And I really want to push this to the next level. Daily uploads to the best quality, the best, you know, the highest standard I can possibly make them. Uh, sometimes time is against me and I can't obviously do that every time because uh, I do actually work a full-time job. Uh, but it is what it is. I really, really want to make this my year. I say it every time and I'm going to definitely do it this year. We, we excel every single year. It gets better and better. 
and I can feel it. Cold War is going to be an amazing year. Back on Treyarch, I always love the Treyarch games more. Uh, it's, it's just going to be insane. Honestly, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching my videos and subscribing. I really hope you do look forward to seeing me play some Cold War and unlocking all the camos, hitting max rank, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to you know, push it to the limits and literally play this game inside and out and upload content, you know, the best content I've probably ever produced. But I don't want to waffle on any longer, guys. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the rest of this gameplay. It is the, the rest of the live comp. Unfortunately, you're not here much because I'm pretty close to the nuke. But I hope you guys do enjoy this, the rest of this video. Thank you guys for yesterday's video as well. It was insane. But apart from that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a like as well. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh my days, we are five kills off the nuke right now. That kid with the shotgun, thankfully my teammate managed to kill him there. I was scared he was going to... I was literally about to challenge him, but I think he was going to kill me with that fire shotgun, honestly. But I have no idea where they are. I'm panicking right now. Because I've choked one nuke streak in this game already. But come on. They've got to be around here somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where they're spawning at. I wish my team would get a UAV in real quick. Hopefully they're going to push around to see. This guy's AFK will take that kill. 26 kill streak run right now. I have no idea where they're at. I'm going to push officers, see if anyone's hiding in here. Doesn't look to be. I hate camping in offices though. Every single time. There's a guy in B is going to die. 27 kill streak right now. Oh my days. I don't know where they're at. Oh my days. No shotgun. No way. Jesus. No way. 28 kill streak. Oh my days. We're on a 29 kill streak right now. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh my days. I have no idea where they're at right now. Where are they? Oh, this guy in officer's free kill. There we go. Juggernaut. We got the nuke. Easily done there. 30 kill streak. Let's try. Oh, man. We get shotgun straight off the streaks. That just shows you how powerful the shotgun is. Let's call in the nuke. Drop a like for the nuke. Honestly, that is insane. Oh my days. Literally my final nuke in Modern Warfare. I'll probably not play this game for a very long time now. I'm going to have the day off tomorrow and hit Cold War running, you know, hit it really hard at midnight. But we'll see what happens when that happens anyway. But thank God we got the nuke. Let's go. 86 kills, 6 deaths. If that doesn't deliver like, I don't know what. And we get the nuke. Oh my days. Smash that subscribe button, guys. That was insane. Okay, guys. We're back in the lobby right now. Hope you guys did enjoy this insane nuke gameplay. My final nuke in Modern Warfare. What a year it's been. I can't wait for Cold War. So make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a like as well. But apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys Friday in Cold War. Make sure you follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Links to them in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.